do this. Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great. I'm so happy to be here again. I'm Ravana and today I'm going to be talking to you about emotional eating and cravings. And this isn't something that you only get when you're not eating raw vegan. You can even get it when you're eating vegan or raw, or raw vegan, however you're eating. It's something that has been in my heart for a while, so I really hope that my experience helps you. One thing that has really helped me in detecting whether I'm eating emotionally or not is just simply being aware. Being aware and conscious of my thoughts and my actions. When I'm constantly aware of my thoughts, it really helps me because thoughts become actions. So when you have something that's going on in your mind, that can lead to an action where you go to the food to eat something like that. So many of you might be trying to follow a healthier lifestyle and you can't because you have these constant cravings. And although these cravings can be nutrition, nutritional because your body is just hungry for nutrients, so it's important to detect what you are craving. Are you really craving chips or a chocolate? Or maybe you're craving a hug or love or spending time with your friends or your, or your spirit is craving food or your mind and your emotions. Something is craving, not food. And remember that we can easily go to the food to numb our feelings because eating lots of food and feeling very stuffed just suppresses everything and we don't go and deal with the emotion. And constantly doing this not only affects our health physically, but it affects our well-being because it's, it becomes addictive. It becomes addictive and, and I've been through this where, for example, there might be days where I'm feeling super stressed, I have so many things I, want, I need to do, and I go to the food and I start eating compulsively and then I just become aware and conscious and stop myself and say, whoa, I'm not hungry anymore. I already ate what I needed to eat. Why am I going to the food? I'm trying to get away from the problem and not do it. So sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do, but going to the root of the problem actually solves it. Another thing I want to touch upon is that eating compulsively takes us away from the present moment. Remember that the present moment here now is all we have. It's important to just seize the moment, seize it today, because if we don't, we might miss on something really great. So I'm going to share some tips that have helped me through my times of emotional eatings and cravings. So number one is hydration. There are many times where I'm not sure if I'm hungry or if I'm eating emotionally or what it is that I'm feeling. So, and it might be that I'm dehydrated. So I drink a large glass of water or two or until I feel good and then stop for a minute and breathe and ask myself okay am I really hungry number two is prayer and whether you believe in God or you don't or maybe it's meditation but for me prayer is my meditation and you don't have to pray to something simply just talking to you. just 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 talk S start talking and, and telling yourself like what you're dealing with and when I start doing that after, I don't know, five, 10 minutes of doing that, and I'm just letting it all out to simply no one, but I start answering myself and I start answering myself with solutions many times. And I, for me, that's God answering to me. So prayer or meditation, if that's something that you practice. Number three is exercise. And it doesn't have to be arduous exercise. It doesn't have to be that, whether you're like running or spinning where you're sweating a lot and it can be simply just walking taking a walk outside to forget about the food maybe forget about what you what you're feeling right now and just go for a walk and enjoy nature breathe in fresh air whether that's alone or with someone i recommend that you do this preferably without electronics number four is vulnerability don't be afraid to be vulnerable it's okay and it doesn't matter what other people think just if you're sad or upset about something just sometimes letting it out and accepting it when you accept it with your mouth with your words is so healing so just taking the courage to be vulnerable and say what's in your heart and in your mind 
whether that means crying or screaming or whatever you need to do to just let it out and experience, fully experience the emotion. Well, I really hope that this video has helped. I, I know it's something that it's not easy to deal with and I know it's something that is not easy to deal with, but I know that if we become more aware and more conscious of our thoughts and our actions, it's something that we can master. And I have found that slowly but surely I become better at it and I feel better because when I'm really living through each emotion, it just makes me a stronger person. So I hope you like this video. Comment below if you liked it. Don't forget that I'm, I'm on Facebook and Instagram every single day, inspiring you to lead a healthier lifestyle, eating more fruits and vegetables. But remember that true wellness, physical, comes from within. <laughs> I love you all and I'll see you guys later. Bye.